Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to lead you through a killer 30 minute leg and booty focused workout. For today's workout, there is a warm up and cool down included, and you will need some equipment. Today, I have a set of 15 pound dumbbells and then one heavier dumbbell, which is a 30 pound dumbbell. And then I also have a booty band. Make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with a little bit of a warm up, warming up our hips first. You're just gonna drop the knees from side to side. If you feel a stretch on one hip and you wanna hold it for a couple seconds, you can do that. Here for another 15 seconds. Good, next up you are going to come into a full squat. So feet just a little bit further than shoulder width. You're gonna come all the way down or as far as you can. One hand comes down to the ground and then you're gonna twist up and hold. Back to center and then back up. Down and then we're gonna do the other side. Next up, move over to one side. You're gonna come into like a kneeling position like so. So each leg is 90 degrees. One hand on either side of the foot. You're gonna press it up into a stretch and back down. So we're not really holding, we're just kind of coming up and then coming down. Good, and we're gonna switch legs. Good, standing up, feet are wide apart. Arms are out to the side. You're gonna reach for opposite toe, then back up to center. You'll feel this in the backs of those hamstrings. That's it for our warm up. We have a 30 second rest now. Next up, we're gonna do just a little bit of activation and a little bit warm up for our legs. A little bit more of a warm up for our legs, I should say. 
First up, we're just gonna do some regular body weight squats. So coming down and up, nice and simple. We're gonna do that for 45 seconds and then we'll take a 15 second rest and then we're gonna put on our booty band. So make sure you have that ready to go. Make sure you're coming all the way down. Sit into those heels. Good, grab that booty band. Next up, we're doing the same thing, except this time we're just gonna do it with the band on. So we're doing some squats. You're gonna take these nice and slow. Make sure you're feeling that resistance on the band. Don't let those knees cave inward. Good, one more activation exercise. Next up, you're gonna have a slight bend in your knees. Step it out to the side, side, then diagonally back. Back, center, side, side, back, back. Here we go. You'll start to feel this in those glutes. Good. All right, set that band aside. You will need to use it again, but not until the end. Next up, we're gonna go into our first superset. We have three supersets. First up, you're gonna do some reverse lunges, 30 seconds each side, and then we're going to do some deadlifts. So I'm using my two 15 pounds for the reverse lunges, and then I'll switch to my 30 pound for the deadlifts. So make sure you're stepping back, sitting back into that lunge, pressing through the heel. Have your upper body leaning slightly forward. That way you'll really use that glute. We're gonna switch sides. We are going right into deadlifts, no rest. So quickly set those weights down. So feet are about shoulder width apart, hinge those hips back, use those glutes to stand up.
Make sure your chin is tucked. Your back is nice and flat. We're taking a 30 second rest and then we're going to repeat that once again. So really think about mind to muscle, especially on these reverse lunges and the deadlifts. But as you're coming back into the lunge, your body is slightly leaning forward. That way your hinge point is on your glute. Then you press through that heel. That way the focus is on the glute rather than the quad. Getting ready to switch sides. Getting ready to go right into deadlifts. Good, that was super set number one. We're taking a one minute rest. All right, next two exercises are curtsy lunges, 30 seconds each side, and then we're going to do a narrow squat. So curtsy lunges, one leg is behind you diagonally. You're sitting, again, a little bit leaning forward, focus on that glute, pressing through the heel, up and down, nice and simple. Then your narrow squat, feet are a little bit more narrow than your regular squat stance and your toes are pointed forward. You're coming down and up. This one will put a little bit more emphasis on your quads and that is purposeful. Because you can't forget about those quads. Even though I love to train my booty, you can't forget about the quads. All right, curtsy lunges, choose a side. 30 seconds, let's go. Getting ready to switch sides. Really push through that heel. Sit in that supporting leg. Good, I'm dropping one dumbbell. Other dumbbell comes to chest. Down and up.
Good work. 30 second rest. We're gonna do it again. All right, here we go. Mind to muscle, every lunge with intention. You can do this, here we go. Good, switching sides. Good, dropping one dumbbell. You can do this, 45 seconds. guys one minute rest moving into our final superset which is a weighted sumo squat and a glute bridge Woody. all right so weighted sumo squat and for the glute bridge I'm going to use my heavier dumbbell sumo squat legs are a little bit wider than shoulder width toes are pointed out diagonally you're gonna hold the dumbbell in front of you like this coming down using those glutes to stand up and then glute bridge, I think you guys know what a glute bridge is. Weight's gonna be right on your hips as you do it. Here we go. Notice I'm not locking my knees out at the top. Slight bend in my knees, keeping the pressure on those glutes. I'm not dropping my chest forward as I'm coming down. I'm keeping it nice and lifted. Good, on the ground. So sit into those heels. Booty comes up as high off the floor as possible every time. Good, 30 second rest. All 
All right guys, last time for the super set. And then we're gonna move into a little bit of a burnout. I know you guys love the burnouts. Okay, really focus in these sumo squats. Feel it in those glutes, let's go. Good, to the ground. Be mindful of protecting that lower back. Press that lower back into the floor each time before you press up. Good work. All right, we're gonna stay on the ground. You're going to need your band now. Whew. All right, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off after our 45 second rest here. You're gonna do some lying abductions. So you're gonna be on your back. Your knees, your knees are gonna be a little bit closer to your chest and you're going to open and close, nice and simple, open and close. So let those legs do all of the work. You should really feel this in your side glutes. Good, band off. Next up, 30 seconds each side. You're gonna be down on your elbows. Actually, you can do this on your hands as well. It's totally up to you. But you're gonna do some donkey kick pulses, two, and then in. Pop it up, up, and lower. You should really feel the burn in those glutes. Whichever leg that you're driving up toward the ceiling, make sure that that same hip is driving toward the ground. Good, switch legs. Take 
15 second rest, and then we're gonna do that again. So put that band on. Here we go. Good, band off. Flipping it over. 30 seconds each side for these donkey kick pulses. Good, switch sides. Good, stand it up. I promise I'm not trying to kill you, but we're gonna end this off with 30 seconds of squat jumps. <laughs> if you cannot do the full 30 seconds of squat jumps, you're gonna squat jump as many times as you can and then squat it out for the rest. Guys, 10 seconds. Good work. All right, let's move into a quick cool down. We're gonna stretch out our quads first, 30 seconds each side. So grab that leg, pull it in, press this hip forward. Good, switch legs. Good, let's sit down on the ground. You're going to extend both your legs, then bring one leg over, cross it over, and you're going to twist. You can pull this leg in to your chest and stretch out that glute. Good, and switch.
Good, last one. We're just gonna stay here on the ground. You're gonna bring those legs out into a straddle position. If doing both legs at once is too much, you can bring this leg in and lean forward. We're gonna hold one side for 30 seconds. Think about flexing that foot and pulling those toes toward you so you really feel that stretch in the back of your leg. Good, and switch. And that is it guys, ta-da, great job. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this pretty intense lower body workout with dumbbells. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me your feedback down below. I also hope you are enjoying the December calendar so far. This was day 23. Congratulations on making it this far. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and happy holiday season. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today and I'll see you guys very soon, bye.